Hi you guys, Stephanie again. Okay, it's the same day that I started working on the envelope flip folder, file folder thing. And I thought, well, it's fresh in my mind. I wanted to do a little bit more. I have a couple of things. Um, I watched my video back and I said a couple of things that I wanted to clarify. I said something about gluing the paper down before sewing. You don't have to. I just think it's it's easier to. Definitely before you have to glue this down before you sew. Otherwise, um, like for here, I sewed over it. So if you don't glue your paper down, you can still glue it after you sew. You just might not get it as far to the edge as you want it to. The other thing I said was talking about how the pockets, I wanted them in the front and how you have to have this on this side. Totally ignore that. I have another one here that's um, just a used one. The one that I showed you originally is like this. So you have a pocket on the outside, on the front and back. And then when you open it, your journal looks like this. I want mine this time to be like this in the front. And I will put um, a Christmas label here, Christmas 2020. I just wanted it closer to the front because on this one, it's way back here, um, back behind everything else. And I just wanted to bring it to the front. So that is why I've done it the way I've done it. Because either way, all you have to do is this, and then you can, you know, it is, as long as your tab thing is on the sides, not in the middle, because then you'll end up folding your tab in half. You can just play with this however you need to, to get it where you want to be. And I think those are the only two things that I really felt I needed to clarify. So now I did sew the edge on each side and this is what it looks like on the front. And um, then we are going to cover this, but not yet. The one that I made previously, this ties all of these little envelopes down, but it still opens. I did not do a closure here and I've decided that I want to. So I have some, uh, I always lose my words <laughs> when I'm doing the video. Um, muslin. I have a couple of strips of muslin that I tore and got ready and I knew exactly how I was going to use them because one's a little fatter than the other. And now they seem the same. Okay, I think these are the ones, I'm gonna use muslin for the front and the side. The reason why is because when I'm sewing this, I don't feel like it's easy to sew. Like when you have to put your finger there to get it nice and tight, and then you sew it and it, it loosens, I feel like doing the fabric is going to help it stay tighter. I am going to go ahead and attach that now. I'm gonna leave it pretty long, but um, I might add some uh, big beads at the end. I don't know, we'll see. And Fabri-Tac, hold on just a second. I left my Fabri-Tac open the other day when I was done, and now it's much harder to come out, unfortunately. I need to go in there and like clean the nozzle out, I think. I really have to squeeze on that. Fabri-Tac will take the, the white lines off of your mat if you're not careful because it has acetone in it. And so I just put a little something down. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I'm strong enough. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm definitely going to need to go in there and clean that out. I have some acetone. You can buy it at Walmart. And I think that um, in the fingernail polish section. So I think I'll go in and see about cleaning it out with some acetone. If you hear noise, my husband's watching a TV show kind of loud. And then my daughter's next door talking to her friend. Okay, so we're going to let that dry just a little bit. And we're going to talk about the envelopes. I have two that are very, I, I think they're the same actually. Those are going to be the first ones. And then I have some that are just, all the rest are different sizes. Um, this one's like same height, but not as wide. And then this one's, well, that looks like almost the same size as this one. And we're just going to line them up how we want. And I like them being not exactly the same. So this one maybe up a little bit. And then maybe this one here-ish. And this one, actually, I want to put this one, maybe I'll go down just a little bit. I want to put this one sideways. That's why I have it in my first one I did. I have it sideways. So I'm going to have to add a flap there. Okay, so then when they open... So this is the part that's, it's not confusing, but it's a little bit fiddly. So when they open, it's going to be like this one. And this one. I just want to see how it's working. And you want to go opposite, you know, every other time. And so I want them to be a little bit up and down so that when one's overlapping the other you see the different oh Stephanie you see the different patterns of paper so that's my reasoning behind that that one kind of in the middle and then I'm thinking this one this way I mean I think it's going to be good it's very similar actually I believe the way this one is. I believe. Okay. I don't know. I feel like maybe just down a little bit on that. Okay. And then you have to glue these together. take and just put a line down my envelope there. Maybe move it in just slightly. If it will still move. I don't know if it will. Got a little bit of dry glue on there. a couple things I'm going to change. So I, I told you that I found where the inspiration came from and I was watching that video and I actually put it together. Maybe I totally did it intentionally or maybe I didn't watch the whole video to know but I put it together not the way the original person did it and so I want to do it more like what they did hoping I didn't get that one too far out. It's stuck now. It's fine. It's for me, remember? Okay, and so then we're going to go ahead and glue these. That one I already glued down. It's still drying. So 
we'll just finish gluing this. And then this will end up gluing to our file folder. And you know, for the sake of time, I think I am just gonna do this because I right now I don't wanna figure out the sideways. It'll still overlap fine. It'll still be good. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. If you have one of the coin ones that goes sideways, that would be good. I don't have one, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and just do it like this. It's definitely fiddly, you guys. This part of it, for sure. add a little bit inside of this one here. You want to use pretty good um, envelopes on this so that they don't tear with all of the movement and stuff. Okay. Alrighty, so there's the two sides and then we're going to want to attach it to this and the way we do it is by gluing it to here okay we're going to glue one here and one here but there are a couple of things that we need to do before we do the gluing number one we need to ink probably could have inked that right there first. I'm going to stand up and make sure I'm videoing. Yep. So you could use, um, you know, of course, a different fabric. You could use seam binding, whatever you have. I don't have a color that I wanted to use of seam binding and also um, of ribbon. I don't have a ribbon that, I have like a red, red ribbon and that I don't think is gonna go with the, the um, papers I've decided I wanna use, so. I should have distressed all of these before I I glued them. And you guys knew that, didn't you? So this whole video is probably going to be me distressing envelopes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I totally did not think of that. See, that's one of those things that I could have been doing off camera, right? Shoot. I'm not 
concerned about that part. I'm going to leave that. If when I'm all done and it sticks out like a sore thumb, I'll get some ink in there somehow. Inking is never ending, isn't it? So I told you that my daughter had her first day of school today. So she, I did end up having to go over and get her even though she's just across the street. <laughs> but I mean, we've got a big yard. <laughs> Sounds pathetic, doesn't it? But the reason is she has PE at the end of the day and she didn't bring the right shoes and the PE, the classes right now, they're only doing three classes per quarter because they figured it's easier for kids during this COVID garbage to only have to figure out how to do three online classes because inevitably they're going to be at home because somebody's going to have COVID or something. Um, so all of the classes, since there are only three, are longer. So she had to do PE the last class of the day and she forgot her PE shoes. And so she was wearing regular shoes that caused horrendous blisters on her poor feet. I have no idea how she's going to manage to do PE with the PE shoes on tomorrow. She just was in misery. So it's a good thing I got done with the video when I did because I did have to drive over and pick her up. <laughs> Getting close, getting close. Oh, I still have this one and the first one. So are you guys going to try a December daily? I was watching videos last December and thinking, oh, that sounds fun. And I wish so badly that I had kept something like this during the years that my kids were little. We did so many fun things with them. And you know, I have pictures, but not them written memory. So I really, really wish that I did. Grandkids, right? So if you're somebody with young kids, do it. Don't, don't waste the time, do it. But I think I mean, it's still fun. I still like Christmas, even though I, my kids are older, and of course they still like Christmas, so I think we're all inked. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue them down. Which one was going to be my front? I think, or my, the one that ends up in the front. I don't think it matters too much. Okay, we need to glue this down underneath the flap of the envelope so that it comes out and over to, to um, tie. So you can do it a couple of ways. And I'm thinking about slicing it right here and having my fabric come through it. I don't know, what do you think? I mean, we can do it however we want. I was trying to figure out on this one what I did. And I think that that's what I did. I can see the thing. 
so I went through them all. But I don't know if that's going to cause trouble with my integrity of my thing. But if I don't, and I glue it like this, and I go to tie, does it pull on them and cause an integrity problem there? And again, since it's going to be mine, if you're making this for yourself, you choose. But since this is going to be mine, I believe what I am going to do is cut it. Wait. Am I? Wait. And then so I would be attaching my glue here and putting paper on top. What should I do? I feel like that's what I want to do. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I had to jump up and get my X-Acto knife real quick. You guys see why I don't I do not do this normally without tons and tons of pre-preparation? It's ridiculous. I'm going to just kind of do a poke. I hope I don't regret this. Yeah, I'm probably going to regret it. <laughs> if it turns out horribly, I'm going to turn the camera off. Or, see, why isn't it coming out where it's supposed to? It's turning out horribly, isn't it? Alright, I'm not going to do it. They're going to be fine. Okay, so don't do that. They're going to be fine, especially remember this one's mine, so don't you guys do that. I'm just going to glue it down. That's what I should have just done in the first place. So I'm going to put it right on top of the other one. out and so I don't know if it's that or if my glue just got real thick because of what I've done I don't know okay and then I'm just going to go straight across the other side a little fatter so we'll do that okay and then I'm gonna put just a little bit more here since it's gonna be fabric to paper but the rest of it I will just use my regular glue and so we want to put glue on this whole thing here going to try and get it up as close to the side as I can so because I've got several layers of envelope it you know this is in but I'm trying to line this first envelope up kind of with the side look what I did are you guys watching that and yelling at me hopefully that'll just rub right off and then same thing over here Off 
put them. Okay, I'm going to close this and kind of line up a little bit this way as well. Okay. Okay, that's all down. Where's my phone folder? And it's probably wise for me to stop right around here because it's just about half an hour. And it'd be a good idea to not press my luck. You guys have seen enough blundering for the day. So then this will get covered with a piece of scrapbook paper. So, and it just depends on which way you go, you know, which one ends up on top. Okay, so we'll be seeing all different patterns of paper there. This will tie closed here. And it, see how that stays much better. So that will tie closed here. And then this will tie closed here. And we'll be covering that with scrapbook paper as well. Okay, so that will be where we start the next time. I hope you guys were able to follow. Please be patient with me. This is all new to me, this doing real-time crafting. So hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.